the last two games uh, so far you've had, the uh, last two games you've had, you know, patchwork offensive lines, a lot of subs going in and out. How's yeah. Gonna, how, how quick do you get the continuity back to this offensive line that you had at the end of that all? Oh, well, I mean, we should have continuity with everyone. I mean, we, we rotate guys in during practice and whatnot. So, um, I mean, just really going out there and, and doing your job, you know, if you have one, you know, the right guard's not doing his job, it's not going to be very good for the center as well, you know. So um, we just got to go out there and um, everyone do their job, not try and do more than they can do, you know, just focus on what, um, what, their, what their task at hand is and um, focusing on, you know, really just setting our goals, you know, with the whole rushing yards and, and not getting the Sean hit. So, um, I mean, I think there's good, you know, just camaraderie and, and, and everything, cohesiveness amongst our offensive line, you know, not even just with the front five, but with, you know, if Maverick goes in there, if Justin Falcinelli goes in there, um, different guys like that, that we feel comfortable, you know, if anything happens or, you know, just rotating those guys in, you know, maybe we go on a long drive and then we get a fumble. You know, we can we can rotate guys in there, and that's the good thing about um, us having a little bit of depth. Are you pleased with how well the offensive line has played so far this year? Would you like the guys to step it up a little bit? Uh, I mean, you know, obviously, I think the first week we actually, you know, a lot of people wanted to give the offensive line some grief, but we, uh, going back and watching it, we actually played well. Just the mistakes that we made were, you know, technique-wise, not where, you know, guys – just weren't so much getting beat left and right, left and right, you know. So, so that's a good thing. Is everything was correctable. Um, you know, obviously, against Troy, we didn't play very well. Um, you know, I didn't think we had our, our head screwed on quite right. But you know, last week it was really good to see us come back, have a real hard, tough, physical week of practice, and then come out and just dominate like I know we can. Um, you know, we we had over. I think 250 yards of rushing, uh, had over 500 yards of offense, um, had no sacks. I mean, you know, and, and any time you do that, especially rotating in as many guys as we did, I mean, we, I think we had, I know we had over 10 guys play. We, we may have had close to 15 guys play on the offensive line. I mean, it, it was insane. So to have all that, just guys that um, were ready to step in. And so, um, you know, last week I think we're starting to get a little bit back in rhythm. You know, this week, even though it was a quick turnaround, I was I came out of practice pretty pleased last night. I mean, we had – and we, we were getting out of here at 9.30 at night. Um, but, you know, we still were hitting it hard, had a tough physical practice, and um, I think we're really starting to get some of that mojo back that we had. Was the Troy game maybe a wake-up call for, for you guys? Or, or was there any extra emphasis after that game about how, how you guys have played? Uh, I don't really know so much as a wake-up call, just as, you know, we can't take anyone lightly. You know, we have to prepare every week. We have to come into every game, you know, with the same mentality as we did against Auburn. Um, just not taking – and, you know, and that starts with me, um, you know, just during the week. Um, you know, I have to have that sense of urgency and, and project that to all the other guys. So, um, and I don't know if I would say so much as a wake-up call or just as more of, um, you know, we – saw what can happen whenever we don't play to our potential.